Welcome, this is Ian with your hometown handyman, bringing another small project. That's what this company specializes in, and making happy customers. So, we're at it again, and we are going to do a job well done. So, today we have an interesting one. We are in Cocoa Beach, we are beachside, and we have a house that is two stories that has some floodlights on the corners of the home. And it's in a pretty awkward area to get a ladder to. It's not so much that that ladder is hard to get to there, but it's very high. So we're gonna try to move into the attic and deal with the situation in there. At some point, we will probably still have to get out on the soffit area to maybe get rid of some wires, but we're gonna try to decommission the circuit at least. That way there's no power going. So right now what I'm gonna do is, you guessed it, I'm gonna suit up in a Tyvek suit. I'm gonna deal with going in the attic. And then we're going to locate where the home run circuit is, coming from either a switch box or the panel. Either way, they're not worried about taking the whole home run out. They just want to cap the wires that are feeding the floodlights. Stick with me. We're gonna get dark and dirty. We'll figure out where to go once we start shining some light in the attic. All right, so let's get to it. Here we go. All right, we are suited up. Luckily, it's still springtime, so this time of year in Florida, it can get warm, but it's still pretty cool right now. So we're gonna go in and get this done. Here we go. All right, so we're up in the attic, and we're gonna start moving towards the corner of the house where I believe the home run meets up with the rest of the circuit. So just want to verify that's where it's going. And then we're going to start getting to work there to decommission the circuit and have them not have to worry about these uh, exposed wires outside on the soffit anymore. So we're going to keep moving. All right, I think we're getting close now. This is the corner that we were wanting to locate. So we're gonna go over and make sure we can identify the wire we're looking for. All right, so this is the area that we were looking for. It's hard to tell, but you can see right there, the wires go out into the soffit area. There's a couple other wires here, but the way you can tell is, for one, this is the corner of the house where I could see outside the wires were exposed. But if you look at these other wires, None of them go down over the soffit. They go down in the wall. Like this one right here. You can see that there goes down in the wall. So the wire that we need needs to go over this block wall, over the side of the wall into the soffit area. And these wires right here do exactly that. So you can see them going through that opening and down in the soffit area. So we have located the wire we need. Now all we have to do is trace it back to the source and we can go ahead and decommission the circuit. Put it in a box and the owner said they're not worried about where it goes. As far as the power source goes, they just want to cap it off. So we're going to go find the other end of this wire. So with a little more investigation, we found there was two different circuits for the floodlight. One was feeding one corner of the house and one side of the house. The other circuit was feeding the other side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put both of these in a box and label it floodlight circuit. And that's gonna end up getting put in the attic with a lid on it and being labeled. So it'll be easy to locate, but the homeowners will probably never use them again in the locations they were pulled to. So we're just gonna cap it and the, the power source will be in the attic if they need it. All right, let's keep it going. All right, we brought our two wires that were connected in the pipes that we saw earlier. One's going in a pipe, one is going down in the wall. And these are the feeds for the floodlight circuit. So we verified they don't have voltage on them, so we're good there. Orange means we're safe, so nothing's hot there on the hot or the neutral. So we are good to go. And we found a box up here that was abandoned, so we're going to use it. it. Works perfectly fine. We've got a lid for it that's labeled. So what we're going to do is we're going to wire this box up, cap everything, and call it a day. Keep everything safe and sound.
All right, that wraps up the adventure in the $4.9 million attic. You ever wondered what one of those looks like? There you go, dark and dirty. These type of projects aren't something typically we do. This particular homeowner had an inspection for their home that they got and to get insurance, they needed a button up dealing with this floodlight circuit. So there was some exposed wires along the soffit area. And by going in the attic and pulling the wires out through there, we were able to take care of the problem for insurance to get approved for the home so those are things we can help with but all in all the home is going to get insurance now and also the circuit is capped off and safe so got the mission complete in the giant attic <laughs> luckily we didn't get lost up in there <laughs> so if you have any projects that are similar to this uh, any home projects at all that you are trying to get done please feel free to reach out my name is ian with your hometown handyman the number is 321-355-2201 if you'd like to reach out. And also there's a preferred partners list that has that have other companies that can help you with things you may be dealing with. So check that out. That's in the description of the video or the comments. And also, if you have some other videos you've been wanting to check out, I got more. So check them out. They're either going to be in the description, comments, or in the link right up there, depending on what platform you're on. So Thanks for joining again. We'll see you on the next one and we'll keep it rolling. Have a great day.